For today's college football fix, we go to Twitter. Chip Brown covers the Texas Longhorns at Texas's 247 website. And he tweeted last night, Chris Del Conte was doing a Q&A. I guess it was with boosters or at some event that they were having. And there was a question that he got, are we going to play Texas A&M each year? And Chris Del Conte says that Texas will play Texas A&M annually in football, and his hope, quote, is to move it back to Thursday, close quote, of Thanksgiving week. And Michael Borky rejoices. Yes, um, I did envision a doomsday scenario, though. Um, because Texas and Texas A&M traditionally, I know, I know what you're about to say. They traditionally play on you're Thanksgiving. About to say a doubleheader on Thanksgiving night. The Egg Bowl moves to like three o'clock on Thursday afternoon, and just no chance. Oh man, that would be uh, that would be disastrous. Uh, I, I thought That's you were going to say head to head, like they play Texas Texas A&M oh, on ABC gosh. and. Put the egg bowl in the SEC. Oh, network. even worse. I mean, that's even worse than what I thought of, which is bad in and of itself. But um, no, no, they'll, they'll go head to head with the NFL. They will not go head to head with the Cowboys, though. I don't think. What uh, What makes this interesting? If you love Thanksgiving egg bowls or, or hate them, that doesn't matter. Point is, Texas and Texas A and M have traditionally played in that slot far more double than the egg bowl has. Uh-huh. And and Texas is higher profile, and and so their rivalry game would be higher profile if the AD at Texas is saying that I want it to be on the Thursday of Thanksgiving week, which Chris can otherwise be described as Thanksgiving. Will the TV <laughs> networks listen? It was an interesting word choice from CDC, it Chris Del Conte. But would they yeah. listen? If he's advocating for that, is that swaying a decision? I mean, right yeah. off the bat, Texas, Texas A&M, regardless of the NFL, draws more eyeballs than Mississippi State Ole Miss. It does. It just does. Yes. That's so honesty. Honesty you put, for you, you put, on Sports Talk Mississippi. So just like every other day is what I'm getting from that conversation. Yes. Yes. But uh, – yeah. There are some places that would try to convince you otherwise. But those places are wrong. Yeah, uh, yeah. so lying liars. Hence, so anyway. Honesty right here on Sports Talk Mississippi. That's right. Honesty Talk Mississippi. So anyway, so that's something to consider for sure. I mean, you just get more viewers that way. Um Texas, Texas A&M fans, I, I don't know. I got a kick out. I saw a Texas A&M uh, on a message board geniuses that basically it was just like blank Texas. Whatever Texas wants, I want the opposite. Also, blank Texas. Well, it's funny you so say that. So the A&M fans, I don't know if they're big fans of it. Isn't Texas A&M kind of on record, or maybe Ross Bjork, the outgoing athletics director at A&M, is on record as saying that they wanted the game to be on Saturday? Did I make that yeah. up? I, I, I'm, look, this is honest. Sports talk, so I don't want to be in the there was another making one that, things up. But <laughs> there was another post that said, "Isn't it kind of funny how they've been in the conference for like two months and it's, it's already let's just do whatever Texas says." Hmm. So I don't, but I don't think State and Ole Miss would fight really hard to stay on Thanksgiving either. Now, what would you say the opinion is? Or, or the percentage split is among Mississippi State fans about Thanksgiving Egg Bowls? Whenever you do a poll on a message board or Twitter, it's it's like 50-50. you got some people who love it and some people who can't stand it. Yeah. Keith Carter's kind of said the same I, thing. He has he said 50-50. Yeah, it just, they're, like I said, some people, it's become their tradition and they just enjoy it and, and, and however they want to do it. And there's some people like, I like to have Thanksgiving with my family. And this makes it impossible. Yeah. It, I, you can't make everybody happy. So it's about finding that 50.1 versus 49.9, I guess. Let me ask you this. Yeah. If Texas, Texas A&M moved to Thanksgiving night, mm-hmm. you know that we, for the last several years, have had Arkansas, Missouri on the Friday after Thanksgiving. 
How mm. would you feel about a Friday egg bowl? Down. We've had them. We had him like you're 06, down with 07. it, or you don't like the idea. Oh, I'm so down. I'm down with it. Yeah, no, he I like it. He's down. He's down with it, like the kids say. Yeah, I'm. I'm hip, Richard. I'm not. I'm not either. I'm lame. You don't like a, don't like a Friday. No, you no, you're not hip to it. Is what you're saying? He you don't like a no, Friday. No, I'm just. I, no, I'm just saying I'm not hip. Period. Oh, okay. Yeah, I knew that. Okay. Yeah, me but are you hip to the idea of a Friday egg bowl? I would have zero issue with that. They they perform well, uh, also. So if you're yeah. one of those people that that wants exposure, which you should for for your school, Black Friday gets sports on Black Friday get that's watched really, a lot, a lot. That's really the best of both worlds, by the way, is a Friday Egg Bowl, for, especially for old Brian Haydad here, because I get Thanksgiving on Thursday, good times. Friday's the Egg Bowl, and then Saturday I still get my day of watching co- all the other rivalry games yeah. in college football. So that's so the best of both worlds is giving me the Friday. Here's what I would propose, though. Mm-hmm. I don't want an 11 a.m. Friday egg bowl. No, no, no. We want so, to be 2:30. So, so, uh, yeah, Arkansas. Well, ho- hold on. Oh, well, Arkansas, nice. Missouri has been in that afternoon time slot, but it hasn't been 2:30. It's been 1:30 when they've played that game. Okay. When it was on CBS. CBS no longer has any say so. So the question mm-hmm. is, would that become a 1.30 ABC game on the Friday after Thanksgiving? And Isn't there another Friday? Would the SEC be open to having two games on Friday? Because that has not traditionally happened. There's only been the afternoon game. What if you had a Friday night after Thanksgiving Egg Bowl? As opposed to it being a daytime yeah. game. Again, fine with it. Fine with it. I remember an 11 a.m. Friday Egg Bowl in Starkville. State won the game. It has nothing to do with the outcome of the game. Yeah, that was that was not a fun time slot for that game. And the year before that, it was in Oxford. Same same time. On Friday, oh six. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I I did not. That's just not yet. That. So I would just say this: if they move that game to Friday. I mean, we have to do a live remote from the game, right? We have to somehow get there and have a college game day kind of situation. We have to do it. Yes. Richard's going to put on some headgear. (laughs) That's you. That's your job. I'll I'll do the headgear. I'm just hoping if it's on Friday, I can figure out a way to stay for the game before I have to fly somewhere for another game.